Good morning, fellow students. Today is day six. Um, let's remember that your test is going to be on Thursday of this week. And we've just about gone over everything that's going to be on the test. And the last thing I want to go over with you today, and we've looked at this before or earlier, <coughs> is being able to um, find or say something about a polynomial given the factors. And so here, as an example number one, let's assume that we have the given factors of negative 2x. So negative 2x is a factor. x plus 1 is a factor. And then x plus 3 is a factor. Well, given those factors, we would know that uh, that polynomial function, or if we write a polynomial function uh, from those factors, those zeros, the zeros of those factors are the zeros of that polynomial. Well. One zero would be zero, the other zero would be negative one, and then the other zero would be negative three. Okay, but let's write a polynomial function given those factors. So here, what we need to do, we need to multiply. So the first thing we need to do is we need to multiply negative two x times x plus one times x plus three. When we FOIL x plus one times x plus three, x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, 1 times x is x, and, is x, and 1 times 3 is 3. So when we FOIL x plus 1 times x plus 3, we get x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then we multiply by negative 2x. And when we multiply negative 2x by x squared plus 4x plus 3, we'll get negative 2x cubed minus 8x squared minus 6x. Okay, so that's the polynomial with the given factors of negative 2x times x plus 1 times x plus 3. So I'll just go out to Desmos because you will have a problem like this on your test and you certainly can use Desmos to help check your work. But I'll go out to Desmos and I'll enter in a polynomial in factored form, or negative 2x times x plus 1 and x plus 3, and then as I wrote it by multiplying the polynomials, negative 2x cubed minus 8x squared minus 6x, and they sh should overlap. So here, let's go out to Desmos then, and here we go. So, <clears throat> so I keyed into Desmos, y is equal to negative 2x times x plus 1 times x minus 3, and there you see the polynomial there in red. It's the red graph. Now if I show the polynomial y is equal to negative 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 6x, it should look the same. And this is to verify that I've multiplied everything correctly. So let me show you. See, it overlaps. So that means that I've multiplied correctly. Now let's say some more things about this polynomial. It has degree 3. It's a third degree polynomial. The leading coefficient is negative 2. Okay, Being degree 3, it's an odd degree. As an odd degree polynomial, if I look, go back out to Desmos and look at the graph, the domain is goes from negative infinity to infinity, so any x value I can use. And again, the domain for all these polynomials will be from negative infinity to infinity. And then the range, well, the y values go, again, all the way from positive infinity to negative infinity. And then number six, let's see here. If, do I see any, I see, I see one, um, local minimum, which is right there, one local minimum, and one local max. So one local min and one local max. All right. Now, I've gone over the steps, or I've gone over um, this problem because you will have homework tonight, and these are the type of questions that I want you to answer as well. So I have one local min and one local max. All right, so the, for the problems I'll give you tonight, okay, these are the questions that I want you to answer. I want you to write the polynomial given the zero um, factors, 
indicate the degree, indicate the leading coefficient, indicate what degree it is, even or odd. The domain, of course, is going to be always from negative infinity to infinity, and the range for, for odd functions, it will always be from negative infinity to infinity, and then indicate whether or not you have any global minimums or maximums or local minimums or maximums. So that's example number one. Let's look at example number two. So let's say here we have the given factors of um, x minus 3, but we have two of those, so x minus 3 squared. And then we have x minus 2 and x minus 1. Again, let's write a polynomial with those given factors. So the first thing I'll do is I'll FOIL x minus 2 times x minus 1, and that will give me x squared minus x minus 2x plus 2, or x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then what I'll do is I'll multiply x minus 3 squared. Well, x minus 3 squared is x minus 3 times x minus 3. FOIL, and you get x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9, and then, mod, and then combine your like terms, you get x squared minus 6x plus 9. So now I will multiply x squared minus 6x plus 9 and x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now this is where I like to um, use the table method or the box method for multiplying polynomials. To me it makes it a little easier to organize. <coughs> so here I have x squared minus 6x minus 9 at the top and then x squared minus 3x plus 2 and I multiply using the box method. And then you add on the diagonals. So, I have, so my polynomial function will be x to the fourth and then negative 3x cubed minus 6x cubed gives me negative 9x cubed and then 2x squared plus 18x squared plus 9x squared gives me 29x squared and then negative 12x minus 27 gives me negative 39x, and then I have 18. So that is my polynomial function there. And again, what I'll do is I'll go out to decimals just to verify that I've multiplied everything correctly. So let me go out here. All right, so my polynomial function was, let's see here, x minus 3 raised to the second, let me delete these zeros, or factors, I should say. And then it was x minus 2 times x minus 1. And then when I multiplied, I got, so this is as a, as a check, I got um, x raised to the fourth and then minus 9 x raised to the third and then plus 29 x raised to the second and then minus 39 x and then finally plus 18. Good. Okay, and again, I see that my multipli multiplication is correct. So if I hide that graph, there's that polynomial in factored form, and then the polynomial in standard form. So it works. What else do I notice? Okay, so again, I see I see one global minimum which occurs right there one local max which occurs there and one local min which occurs there okay and you should you should uh, you should be able to um, understand too that this polynomial has zeros of 3 2 and 1 so there are some, so 3 2 and 1 i can see those from my factors all right so it's the degree for a polynomial. Oops, the leading coefficient is 1. Where did that come from? The leading coefficient is 1. As soon as I can write that. So the leading coefficient is 1. It's an even degree polynomial. 
the domain goes from negative infinity to infinity. That's the case for all of these polynomials. The range, though, if I go back out here, the smallest my y value gets is negative 0.62. Remember, the range is y, so it's negative 0.62. So my range will go from, oops, negative 0 0.62 uh, all the way to infinity. Oops, let me write IF. All the way to infinity, so that's the range. And then I saw, I saw one global minimum, one local max, and one local min. So one global minimum, one local max, and one local min. Okay, so you'll have you'll have some problems like that for for homework, and you'll have to answer six questions as I did there for each for each problem. Write the polynomial, indicate the degree. Indicate the leading coefficient. Indicate if it's even or odd degree. And then let's see here, um, the domain and range, and then the number of global minimums or max and local minimums or max. And then I'll give you maybe five more division problems like you had over the weekend.